Good morning, folks. Admiral Preparedness here. Have a nice little treat for you guys today. We were down in the uh, food bunker last few days, reorganizing, inventorying, and checking on all of our food stock to see what had gone bad. And so far, only one can of sauerkraut uh, had deteriorated to a point where it exploded out of the can. And one... Uh, uh, tomato paste container had leaked around the seal, uh, got those disposed of, cleaned the area up. It wasn't much of a mess to make, just a small leakage area, nothing to be worried about, sanitized and disposed of. But I came upon a box that we had purchased at Sam's Club of uh, this guy right here. There's a box of 20, I think 24. Uh, it had an expiration date or best buy of uh, somewhere around somewhere in the year 2015, but the uh, individual packets don't have that information anywhere on it. Uh, these guys here uh, are made by Keebler. They're called Fudge Stripe Cookies Minis. They're original to the company. 100% cocoa. It is 280 calories per package. Uh, I opened one up already to, to taste them just to make sure that uh, my suspicions were correct. And uh, these guys taste exactly like they did the day they were put inside each one of these package packages. Now, the nutritional information is as such. Uh, one serving size is one container. Uh, 280 calories. Total calories from fat is 120 calories. Uh, total fat is 13 grams. Saturated fat is 8 grams. Cholesterol is zero. Sodium, which is the preservative in this, is 210 milligrams. Total carbohydrates is 38 grams. Dietary fiber is 1 gram, so these won't exactly make you go to the toilet, but uh, you know, you'll get the gram. Sugar is 18 gram. Protein 2. Now, the only vitamin it has in it is iron. Uh, <clears throat> these guys here are packaged in what's called a mylar type container, which is metallized in a sense. Uh, it's impermeable to air infiltration. It is impermeable to light infiltration. And it has uh, it's been completely sealed by the process, uh, from what my research has proven, most of these containers are flushed with a nitrogen gas. Uh, all of the inert atmospheric uh, components of the Earth's atmosphere has been flushed out of the container during the manufacturing process. And as you can tell, it, is, it, is a, it has nitrogen in the interior. Now, nitrogen is an inert gas. Uh, oxygen is an I as will will cause food to deteriorate over time. No uh, oxygen absorber is required because of the nitrogen. Now, <clears throat> during the manufacturing process, they did put a code on the container. I don't know if you can see that. Each one is, is, I guess that's kind of a manufacturing date or a lot number or however, but this one here is an A6 or A8 on the package. And this one is an A4. So either different machines or a different time during the manufacturing process. <clears throat> but these are two years over their best buy. Now, if you were to take this out of the box, which is what it came in, put this into a vending machine, and as long as the vending machine was kept at a decent temperature where the chocolate material inside the container didn't melt, uh, this would pretty much last indefinitely. These have been stored in my basement at about 64 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, about 12% to to 8% relative humidity. Uh, the, the box was sealed and it was uh, uh, stacked upon other boxes, so it was out of any kind of light. So without further ado, we're gonna open one of these containers, <laughs> containers up and sample the individual cookie. 
Now, as you can see, there's a chocolatey cocoa uh, cookie in there. Uh, you can smell the cocoa. Uh, there's a fragrant of the cookie. And it smells uh, as if it was uh, opened up the day it was packaged. Now, the individual cookie there is crispy. It's not uh, discolored. Crunchy. And very flavorful. Being a mini a mini cookie, it would make a great snack, comfort food, during an SHTF event. Now, as you can see from the container, that metalized material, it's a very robust and somewhat, you know, thick for its for its manufacturer, uh, whatever was put inside this, I'm going to call it a, a, a flexible can, would definitely be preserved as long as the food inside hasn't doesn't react with each, each component. So somebody's doing something right for being two years over. The Best Buy, which you could have to assume that when it was manufactured, it was manufactured at least a year to a year and a half before the Best Buy. So I could assume these are four years old. And I tell you what, they're very delicious. Even though they're like a mini cookie, they're just as fresh as the day they went in the container. Now what's interesting is I didn't I didn't mean to have them to be stored this long, but I they got buried in a, over a bunch of boxes, so it was unintentional. But uh, we're gonna put them back and we're gonna put them put them back away and see how long they can last a little bit longer. But to be totally honest with you, these probably won't last a week. Now that I found them and um, my diet is, uh, we're still on a strict regimen to diet, but I am a little bit splurging <clears throat> and I lost a lot of weight. So I'm not really worried about gaining that weight back, but with physical activity and adheres to the diet, we, we should be okay. So in saying that, uh, we'll talk to you soon. Admiral Preparedness here. You guys have a great weekend and what's left of it.